Welcome back. I'm Pratap here. Today is the 25th August 2024. In this video, we are going to generate uh, different uh, weekly reports uh, based on Neo Stock Software Supply Demand Zone Top Down Analysis uh, Strategy Builder. Even before that, uh, a small announcement, please. If this is your first visit to our channel, please understand we are providing complete free training on supply demand zone price action. All the training videos are available at our neo stock youtube channel so from our channel home page click on this community tab then you will get access to this post this post is having a youtube playlist link that will take you to all the training videos just click on the link now we are into the playlist supply demand zone price action course and so far we have 24 training lessons are completed and from these 24 uh, lessons, uh, we have released 62 training videos. So you need to start your training from lesson 1.1. For that, you need to scroll down to the bottom of the page. Here, starting from lesson 1.1, all the training lessons are available in an order. So please go through all these lessons one by one and strengthen your skills related to supply demand zone price action. I have also provided the link to our telegram channel in this YouTube video description. So from the video description, please join at our telegram channel. It will be helpful to you each time when we release a new YouTube video or any other important video we will or any other important updates we will provide at our telegram channel. Now let's get into the weekly report generation with the help of Neo Stock software. So for weekly time frame, let us find the stocks near weekly demand zone. Five stocks are filtered near to the weekly demand zone. I will be giving you only few seconds time to watch the report. For that you need to pause the video. You can study all these columns, all the stocks, their values and once you draw the zones uh, in your trading uh, view application or any other chart application. You can further proceed with this video. In case if you doesn't know how to study this report, uh, I request you complete uh, our training lesson 21.1 .1, that is part one of lesson 21. There I have explained each and every column, their values, abbreviations uh, in detail. I have also explained uh, how to draw the zones in trading view by taking the timestamp from this leg in column, leg out column and also the base candle counter. Okay, now let's uh, generate the next report. For weekly time frame, let us find the stocks near to the weekly supply zone. So all these stocks prices are closed in near weekly supply zone. So in the next uh, report uh, for weekly time frame, let us find the stocks where price closed inside weekly demand zone. So 17 stocks are filtered. In all these 17 stocks, uh, prices are closed inside the weekly demand zone. In the next report, for weekly time frame, let us find the stocks where price closed inside weekly supply zone. So this is the filtered list. Let me scroll the list down. So total 21 stocks are filtered. In all these 21 stocks, prices are currently closed inside the weekly supply zone. In the next report, for weekly time frame, let us find the stocks which are tested during this week. So no weekly demand zones are tested during this week. The next report for weekly time frame, let us find the stocks where 
the weekly supply zones are tested so these 15 stocks are filtered that means uh, these 15 stocks having supply zones are tested during this week even uh, nifty's uh, weekly supply zones is tested and the price closed inside the weekly supply zone currently. Okay, in the next report uh, for weekly time frame, let us find the stocks uh, having newly created weekly demand zones. So these 15 stocks are having a newly created weekly demand zones. the next report for weekly time frame let us find the stocks having a newly created weekly supply zones that means uh, no weekly supply zones are created during this week so next report based on the EMEA confluence let us generate the reports so entry time frame is weekly let us look for the Demand zones having a weekly EMA confluence. Let us find all the stocks having weekly demand zones having a weekly EMA confluence. So for that you have an option called demand zone. This is a weekly demand zone having WEMAC. That means weekly EMA confluence. I have selected this option. But you already learned weekly EMA confluence makes sense only in the trending market. Because it is a demand zone, uptrend makes more sense. So that's why in the trend, the zone violation trend, in the weekly time frame, I am selecting the trend as uptrend. This combination. Now with this combination, we will filter. Sometimes the list might be big if the market is bullish. So at the time, to further filter, let us check both the trends because our software is supporting both the trends. Zone violation trend and a pivot high low trend that is also called a swing high low trend. You already land in the phase one training program. Higher high, higher lows, lower high, lower lows, equal high, equal low. Based on that, uh, we can identify the trend. So this is the that is called pivot high low trend or swing high low trend. That trend also we will make it up if the list is big. First priority we are giving zone violation. If the both the trends are uh, up supporting uptrend means uh, those stocks are uh, high probability stocks compared to the others. Okay, first let us filter only based on this zone violation trend. So we got a really a big list because at present uh, overall market is uh, on weekly time frame the bullish. That's why many stocks see the weekly trend as an uptrend. Even monthly trend is also uptrend in all these stocks. Even quarterly trend is also one stock atul sideways but remaining stocks in this space. These are the first 24 in this list. Let me scroll the list down. 23rd to 46 stocks. So let me scroll the list down again. So total 64 stocks are filtered. All these 64 stocks, they are having uh, all the demand, all these demand zones, weekly demand zones are having weekly EMA confluence. Because the list is very big, what we do, let us further filter, even by checking uh, the swing high low trend is also uptrend. So here, this is the swing high low trend. So here also weekly time frame, I am adding uptrend. See now both the trends, you have a zone violation trend weekly, we already set up. Even pivot violation trend weekly, we send up. From 64, how many stocks will be filtered? Let us verify. And already we set a EMA confluence, that is weekly demand zone with weekly EMA confluence. Now the list is reduced. These are the first 23 stocks in the filtered list. Let me scroll the list down. So total 30, st 30 stocks are filtered. That means uh, from 64 stocks, 30 stocks are filtered. Now 
Now, out of these thirty, let us also verify how many of the stocks are having even zone confluence with the monthly, currently weekly zone. We are filtered. So, these weekly demand zones are having a confluence with the monthly demand zone. This is the zone confluence. Earlier, we have filled all the stocks are filtered based on. EMA confluence, weekly EMA confluence. Now we are looking for zone confluence. So we are combining. This is even much more probable, high probability setup. So we have a demand zone confluence. So here uh, the condition is a weekly demand zone with a monthly demand zone confluence from those thirty stocks. How many will further filter? See the now the list is reduced to four. These four stocks are having a weekly EMA confluence and monthly EMA confluence. And moreover, see here monthly trend is uptrend or sideways. What kind of advantage we get like this? Now you get an opportunity to verify. You can identify daily zones by fine tuning inside the weekly. So you can look for bullish trade setup. That manually you can. Anyway, software is already giving in the premium service subscribers. They will be getting directly. Software will be filtering. But here you have to do manual work. Manually you need to identify by fine tuning to daily or 75 minutes. You already know all these uh, concepts land in your training program. Okay, but still it it is reducing your effort, overall effort. This kind of reports. Okay, this is about uh, EMA confluence and also zone confluence with ITF. We are verifying weekly and monthly zone confluence. Weekly, you can use weekly as a. Uh, it's up to you. Generally, you know these weekly reports will help you, so that such kind of zones you can use weekly zone as a uh, ITF zone. And you will find zone, and you will uh, inside these zones you will find zone, and you will identify daily zones. That kind of trade set you can define, or you can also use this weekly as HTF. Further, you find zone to daily, and uh, further again you find zone to 75 minutes, and then you look for weekly re income trade related uh, stocks. You can identify if trend is supporting. Anyway, weekly trend is supporting uptrend. So you need to identify daily trend manually. You have to do that. But these reports will min minimize your effort. Okay. Next report is a uh, supply zones are having a weekly EMA confluence. So entry time frame is weekly. And in EMA confluence in weekly time frame, I am selecting supply zone weekly supply zone with weekly EMA confluence. And uh, you know that uh, EMA should always be used with trending, not ranging. Ranging means sideways. You should not use. That's why in the trend zone violation trend in a weekly time frame because it is a supply zone. Downtrend makes more sense. Demand zones uptrend, supply zones downtrend. That only you, because you, you always trade in favor of the trend. That is what you learn in phase one training program. So based on that, you are taking decisions. Okay, and uh, pivot trend, that is swing high low trend. I didn't uh, enable. If the list is big, I will. Otherwise, uh, we are always happy with zone violation trend. So let me filter the stocks. Only two stocks are filtered. See here, zone violation trend is downtrend. EMA confluence on weekly supply zone equals to weekly EMA confluence because only two stocks are filtered, no further uh, filters are required to add. Out of these two, one supply zone is already pierced, so there is no use with this. Only Z limited is there. This is low on the curve. But let's verify whether it is having any ITF confluence. Mostly it may not be, but let's verify. So we need to look for supply zone confluence. So weekly supply zone with uh, monthly supply zone, any stock will be filtered. Let's verify. 
no stocks mostly low on the curve they may not be many times okay as predicted no stocks are filtered in the next report what i do i will also generate weekly zones for weekly time frame just only based on the zone confluence demand zone confluence first let me verify weekly demand zone with monthly demand zone how many stocks will be filtered irrespective of trend just like that for the reference purpose so we got a big list all these stocks are all these weekly zones are having confluence with monthly so total 52 stocks are filtered so we add even quarterly confluence also quarterly monthly and weekly how many out of these 52 stocks how many will further filter already we added weekly demand zone with monthly enabled now weekly demand zone with quarterly is also en enabled just now and then monthly demand zone with quarterly demand zone confluence also i am enabling now enabled with these three filters let's verify now the list is come down now 22 stocks are filtered some of the stocks are having pierced so always you should look into pierced con some fresh weekly zones are there and uh, who will get benefit with this list the qit traders quarterly income trade because quarterly is a higher time frame monthly is a uh, intermediate time frame and weekly is lower time frame that way this report will be useful that's why always look into itf for the trend point of view because demand zones uptrend always makes sense See here trend is downtrend so no use with this you already learned the concepts so according to the concepts you learned in your training program you can plan the trades especially this is useful for the medium term or long term investors point of view exactly the same way supply zones also let's uh, filter for entry time frame is weekly so let us look for uh, supply zone confluence how many so weekly supply zone with monthly supply zone confluence zone confluence let us filter so this is the filter list all the supply zones are having confluence with monthly supply zone all these are all weekly supply zones so but they are also having confluence with monthly supply zones so let me scroll the list down so total 24 stocks are filtered all these 24 weekly supply zones are having confluence with even monthly supply zone now let's again filter out of these 24 how many are having confluence with even quarterly so i'm going back and uh, let me add two more filters in the supply zone confluence so weekly supply zone with monthly is already enabled now i am adding the next filter weekly supply zone with quarterly supply zone also enabled and finally monthly supply zone with uh, quarterly supply zone this option is also enabled with all the three filters now seven stocks are filtered that means uh, in all these seven stocks supply zones uh, are having uh, which supply zones these are all weekly supply zones all these weekly supply zones are having confluence with uh, monthly supply zone and also quarterly supply zone if the itf trend is down you can plan short trades but none of these itf is down but sideways are there so sometimes sideways trade setup i meant to uh, teach you the sideways setup related concepts in the coming weeks you will be learning those concepts
Okay. So this is about the filters. In the final report, uh, let me show you all the weekly demand and supply zones for the reference purpose. Maybe some of your favorite stocks might be there. So what I am doing? Selecting weekly time frame, not adding any filters. I am just uh, displaying the complete report. Now all the weekly demand uh, supply zones are displayed. First 17 in this list are uh, indices. That includes uh, all the sectorial indices. And from 18 onwards, the remaining stocks are equity stocks. But uh, the uh, list is filtered from uh, F&O listed stocks. But equity stocks. Okay, I am scrolling the list down. Any of the stock you want to refer, there you please pause the video. So this is the end of the report. Hope uh, this information will be useful to you for your further study and analysis. Let's all meet again in our next video. Thank you.